Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, I do get asked that, uh, occasionally um, how to convert the plans that I provide into CAD drawings. Uh, a few folk have had an issue with uh, I want to draw the uh, dome that before I'm going to build it in CAD. Uh, and then they draw the parts out, like here, uh, put the bevel angle on, and then they try and join it as if you were building a dome. That won't work. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it in CAD. We need an icosahedron. I've got one ready. It shouldn't be an issue to get an accurate icosahedron, but rather than try and build it the same way as we build uh, in the real world, we need to hang it off some geometry. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I've got an icosahedron and I've marked the centre. That's all you really need. And I'll just select that. And that. Edit. Hide. Right, we've got one frame. And what we need to do is um, draw a line from the centre out to the edges. I'm just going to fill these in as well. We'll get rid of those later, but these are that's all you need is one face of an icosahedron with the centre marked. Is divide each edge into three. Um, what I've done is I've I've reset my scale so that this is three thousand millimeters. So what I'll do is I shall go down here. Let's check it. 10,000, uh, sorry, 1,000 millimetres, 1,000 millimetres, exactly. So we know that, that that's accurate. Right, what we want to do next is mark the centre of our, this is an equilateral triangle. Right, next we want to take a line. Uh, it doesn't matter how long this line is and drive it through here we've got let's call it 3000 so we've got a line sticking out the center and what we do next is we need to scale this to fit our plans right what we're trying to find the scale for is the bottom of a hexagon and the bottom of a pentagon because they're both 926 would be this measurement here so we take our tape measure and then we rescale the whole drone to 926 it'll ask you for confirmation yep so if we measure that line now that should be 926 so that's accurate to our drone so next we look back at the drone and we look at the hexagon panel. Hexagon panel here is 944. So we draw a line from here with a pencil of course. And we're looking for 944. So we just slide it down until we get the 944, that's there. So if we join that up with there, that's 944 as well. And that's our hexagon panel. We're just going to colour that blue. 798. So this line here, we go to 798, which is there. And then we do across to there. So we know that the pentagon and hexagon triangles are right. All we have to do now is fit them round the dome. Uh, and what we do to, for that is we take this and we slide down here so it acts as an axle. And then we can get rid of this, which is kind of getting in our way a bit. Right, so what we have here is uh, very accurate measurements. Let's see if I can get it. I will keep that and we'll just get rid of that. Uh, very accurate measurements of 1 20th of the three frequency sphere. Now, this has got 
all of the me the correct measurements. So all we have to do now is make this um, into our uh, sphere. So now we have a sphere. This is accurate to the drones. Uh, and this is what you need before you start building your frames or anything like that. This is 100% accurate. Uh, you can, if you want, get rid of the, um, and make it a dome by getting rid of it. But I like to work in spheres first. That way um, you can see where you're at. So we ha uh, what we need to do now is make the model the uh, beveled frame. Uh, again, that's not uh, super straightforward. Uh, let me just change a couple of things here. Okay, let's make a copy. And then what you want to do is measure from the center out to a point here. So we'll do that on this one. I'm going to probably delete one of these frames so I can get in and see what I'm doing. Here we go. We'll delete one of those. So we measure from the center out. And we know that uh, the thickness of the frame is that. 2283. So how, sh how thick do we want to make the frame? So if we made the frame... Um, you might go for a 25 mil. Um, frame so then what you do is what you do is you've got the outside we'll call this the outside and then this one's the inside so we just reduce this we just make this smaller so that it fits inside so this makes the inside of each of your beveled frame we just line it up accurate with the inside here and if we go to the top you can see that it's given um, it's inside and that measurement there is the thickness of your frame 23 millimeter so we've got a 20 mil 23 millimeter frame now you can change that you can adjust the inside one uh, but pull it away to one side reduce it in size and put it back and that'll give you the thickness now this is all you need the only uh, everything you need is here now to build your bevel frame um, dome So I'm going to pull this out so you can see what I'm doing with it. Pull it out there. Don't need that. So this is effectively a solid, um, exact copy of uh, what this needs to be. Now we go uh, the um, this one here, and then you decide how thick your frame is this way. So let's let's do it say. We, we do roughly the same 25 and then we offset this out and that gives you a complete accurate um, you can make a component out of that now edit make component and we'll call that pent frame see where I'm getting with this now you can you can uh, Make this a group and make components of each individual edge if you want. That's entirely up to you. But because you've made an outside and inside frame, you've got everything um, exact what you need. Let me just <clears throat> do the hexagon one. It's exactly the same way. To the pent frame like that and you can see it that your um, dihedral angles are exact they all fit nicely we just select these uh, I'll select this one for first actually do the, and then you do you do rotations you start on the tip of here and you slide into the center of the sphere and then you use this as a snap point 
copy 60 degrees times 5 that gets all of your pentagons in place and it's, you do exactly the same with your uh, hexagons in place sorry this is your pentagon now that I'm doing Get you, uh, get you. Uh, it's actually a bit bigger than the dome. Now let's just well, who knows. There you go, and that's that's your three frequency dome. You've drawn all of all of your frames. They're all accurate, uh, and that's how to build in CAD rather than trying to build um, the same way as you would do it as a building. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Uh, any questions? Just drop me a comment in the in the bottom. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.